Hello and welcome to a new episode of The Journey, where we are now at Dunfermline Athletic in Scotland. It is now the 30th of December, it's been about a month and a half since, uh, obviously, the Chinese League One season finished. Um, I applied for a couple of jobs. Uh, I was actually offered the job at Dover Athletic, who are in League Two now, but they were bottom, they were offering me no money. And they were like 10 points from safety already at this point. Like, I don't want relegation on my CV. I've already got, I've already got a sacking. Uh, Dunfermline are in the Ladbrokes Championship. They are clearly not the worst team in the league. They're clearly the second worst team in the league. And while I haven't got much transfer budget to work with, I have got about 15 grand spare in the wage budget. And I might try and like push some people out of the door if they're not good enough um so yeah done firmly uh let's go through the club quickly uh and then uh yeah you know you can get on with it uh so we play east end park in Dunfermline, which is 11,904 capacity uh do you have any affiliates no we do not um we've never won the ladbrooks premiership uh we finished third twice both in the 60s uh, won the Scottish Cup twice, uh, finished a runner-up in 2007, so 13 years ago in-game. Uh, runner-up in the Betfred Cup in 2006, won the Ladbrokes Championship in 2011. Um, yeah, they've, they've got a like, decent uh, history uh, behind them. Um, a relegated... doesn't show managers, but they have a new... Chairman since uh, last year doesn't seem to be helping because they're in debt. You know, not great. But that guy did help them get promoted, so mm. yeah, we've got 12 grand of wage budget available. We've only got a grand to spend, which is kind of an issue. Um, but like I said, I'm going to try and move some of the dead wood, hopefully, bring in a couple of good free agents, maybe a couple of loans, see what we can do there. Uh, let's quickly go through the squad, shall we? Let's go to reports. So if we do it by ability, uh, we've clearly got what seemed like a decent squad if we look at the star rating, but obviously they're a bit misleading. And then I do recognise is Callum Morrison, because uh, I've used him in uh, an offline save, because he was at Sterling. And I did a journeyman save offline, I've spoken about it a couple of times. And I started off at Sterling, and he was there, and he was brilliant. So this guy could be good. Considering that I'm planning on playing a winger formation here, it could be uh, quite useful. He actually won the Irish Premier Division two years ago with Shamrock. So that he's got that on his CV, so that's good. Um, so I expect a lot from him. Um, if we look at our best player, Cameron Brunt, on loan from Bristol City. I mean, he looks decent physically. He looks really good. He's an attacking mid, but he can play as a, just a centre midfielder. Only 18 years old. Looks decent. Um, the player I'm most looking forward to is Jermaine Hilton, because I know this guy, because he was at Swindon. And I did a career mode with them on FIFA 17. Um, he's a lot better in this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like to play as an advanced forward, he's... Other than heading, really, he's got decent enough stats to play uh, that role. You just sort of need someone decent to partner him. Um, so what we're going to do now, I'm going to sort out the tactic, do a bit of scouting. Um, staff isn't really important, it's kind of dead. We've got a lot of scouts, which is nice. Um, but yeah, so what we're going to do, uh, I'll show you the Queen of the South game. And then we'll move on uh, from there in the coming episode. So I'll see you in a second for the Queen of the South. Alright, so here we are for the game against Queen of the South. Um, we're just going for a basic 4-4-2. It's middle of the season. You know, I just want to get to the end of the season here. Keep them up. So I can decide if we stay or we go. We use it as a chance to boost our reputation almost. Um, so this is the team we're going for. We're going to have uh, Cammy Gillingall, Jordan McMillan, Lewis Bynes, Callum Morrison, Scott McKenna, 
uh, in defence. Uh, Neil McCracken, Jamie Barhonas. The funny that that name I find complicated. Yeah, I was doing fine with all the Chinese names. Uh, Alan McCart and Callum Morrison uh, in midfield. And that's very much a lone midfield. That makes me quite worried because um, that's our best midfield. Um, with Scott Shepard and uh, Jermaine Hilton up front. Uh, Shepard won't normally play. It will normally be McDonough. Uh, but he's not fit. So. Let's just get into the game. We've begun to two players. Oh, good. Just auto number that. I don't care at this point. Because um, it's not my team. If we stay for the next season, they will be my team. But for the moment, this is just a stopgap. Because the game sims very slowly. And it would have taken me like three days to sim, probably, to the summer. Might as well play some games in between. Uh, let's... We're the favourites, uh, despite only having won three games all season. I mean, they've only won seven, I guess, but still. But, like, this is what I'm talking about. So, Alawa, they're the same professional, the only same professional team in the league, I believe. They've got 11 points, we have 16. We just need to win a couple of games, and I think we'll be fine. Just be Alawa, we should be fine. Um, obviously, there are some big teams in here. Inverness, Dundee, and Ross County come to mind, but Falkirk and Wraith are quite big as well. Um, just sending assistant. I don't know who he is. I don't know who my staff are. I didn't really look. Yeah, encourage the team. Go do that. Are we at home? We are at home. Let's have a look at my new ground. How many fans do we get, huh? Because we got quite a large stadium. Uh, I had a look where Dunfermline is. It's, it's near Edinburgh. Uh, just on the other side of that weird bit of Scotland where the water comes in. Like the neck, I guess. Because it gets thin at that point, just above that, just by Edinburgh. So when I look for a place, it'll probably be in Edinburgh, because why not? How many times are you going to get a chance to live in Edinburgh? Oh, what a goal. Is that Hilton? That's McCracken. Even better. Well done. That's what we need. I just realised I've left it on standard, not done anything. Even better. If that works, then brilliant. Well, don't dive in like that. Oh, well done, Gil. Well done, Gil. I have one issue with Scottish football. If we do stay and we get them promoted, there's a good chance we'll just lose every single game and get relegated. Ooh, good try, Hilton. Because the gap between the Scottish Championship and the Scottish Premiership is massive, especially in FM. Because the Scottish Championship is ranked like 60th by default, whereas the Scottish Premier is about 20th. It's about 40 point, 40 place gap. You know, it's like the Belarusian league, which was like ranked, you know, 80th, and the top league is ranked like 30th. There's a massive gap, and you just kind of can't deal with it. You go from playing, being a two star team in a two star league, to being a two star team in like, oh, two nil up. That's what you end up doing. Scott Shepherd, first goal of the season. There you go. Paying off. Should have come earlier. Maybe this is just the new manager bounce. I'm not going to judge too much on uh, the early uh, results. Because this could all go to hell. But Queen of the South didn't know that they were on good form from the pre-match thing. I mean, we were favourites, so... But, I mean, we're not on good form either, I assume. I mean, why else would they have sacked the manager? Um, but, yeah, there's just a massive gap between the leagues. We'll be a two-star team... In a four-star league all of a sudden. You know, with teams like Celtic and Rangers and Aberdeen. Who are all like four-star, three-and-a-half-star competing in Europe. Getting top players for that level of league. And struggling, you know. Ooh, that, was a, that was a good goal. Underside of the bar. Kind of hoped he was offside. But can we not throw this away, please? That would be really nice if we could hold on for a win in my first game. Considering that all I've done is put players in their position and change their roles. Yes, improvement in the second half. This guy's not great. He doesn't really do anything. I might need to try to get Harriet White. I quite enjoyed having her as my assistant. For no other reason other than the fact that her name was Harriet White. And I thought that was... I quite like the idea of having a female assistant's uh, manager. <laughs> so I also had uh, Bente Nordanger earlier in the career. You know, I did like Avika Matas, 
but he just wanted to tackle everybody really hard like going hard was his entire tactical instructions every time I asked him to do it you know when I stopped going in hard we stopped getting yellow cards all the time it was good and they're just knocking it around I just have a feeling we're gonna counter yeah can we counter can you can you close them down they're not Celtic you know they're Queen of the South Thank God for that. 3,271 fans. 257 are away. But 3,000 fans. Here's to support Dunfermline. I think that's, that's good. Scottish Championship level. Hilton. Oh, Shepard. Oh, blocked again. That's unfortunate. That would have been really 3-1. I, I, I would have felt comfortable again. But I kind of want to keep this simple. It's about League 2 level football. And McCracken has appeared to have picked up a knock or something. Because he's suddenly just dead. Um, bring on a bowler, I guess. I don't need a dead guy on the pitch. Uh, as long as McMillan doesn't get sent off, I feel confident we can hold out. Uh, I might drop back to counter soon, though. But we'll do it now, 70th minute. Let's... Drop this to counter. Bring on Notman for Bahonis. And do it for Scott Shepard. That guy's just come back from injury. Just give him 20 minutes. Maybe he can do well. That's the hope anyway. Because Scott Shepard's come in, scored a goal in my first match. That kind of puts him ahead of him in the order. It's unfortunate that he's only just come back from injury as I arrive. We just need to hold out now. We've looked quite comfortable this half. If we get the win, Aloha are losing, so that puts us even more clear of them. And we seem to have done that. Which is brilliant. Win in my first game. Maybe we can find success at this club, get them to the Premiership to increase my reputation, and then leave because... I don't think I could deal with that, you know, losing every week. It's why I left Smallgun, because we were just losing every single week, and I couldn't deal with it. I knew that I wouldn't get sacked, because I just got them promoted, and the expectation was just to avoid automat was just to avoid relegation. So if you get relegated, because you got them promoted, they're a bit more lenient. I was like, oh god, I don't want to get relegated again. Oh god. Uh, so as you just probably saw there, transfer window is open. Um, yeah, we're now three points behind air. Um, if we come back, because that's what I'm going to do for today, if we come back for, see, I kind of want to do Anan in the Scottish Cup fourth round, which might win, but I suppose, see, Dundee are big, Aloha are near us, and Air are near us. You know what I'll do? We're going to do a uh, special two-part thing, I guess. Uh, so this will go up, obviously, this will be Friday. This will be Friday. You're watching this on Friday, I'm assuming. Um... So the Monday will be Anan and Dundee, and then the Wednesday will be Alawa and Air. So this, even though this is going to be possibly only a half-season series, it could take just as long uh, to do. Uh, although maybe, instead, uh, leave a comment down below uh, what you prefer. Would you prefer two separate episodes, but it covers four episodes, or just one three-match episode? No, just leave that down below. Um, I'll do some transfers, obviously, before then, because that will be coming near the end of the window. Obviously, if you come back, if you do the three one, it will be you'll see transfer deadline day as well. Um, but obviously, with Anan, they're what are they? League two or League one? They're League one, bottom of League one, mind. Uh, in fact, they're recently in the Lowland leagues. So hopefully, we should just be able to walk over them. We might have a really nice match where I can just sit and chat. And we win 5-0, which would be nice. Um, but until then, uh, I will see you later. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.